Now I'm going to show you how to create a honeycomb using linear pattern. I can start with a polygon. I draw a polygon and it is at an angle with the horizontal so I want to make it zero. You can also keep it that way. It is easy to control. So now I need um, dimension of the honeycomb. There is a circle inside. We can leave that circle as is for now. I'll show you why. So now I need the dimension because that dimension will help us to um, draw our honeycomb. So let's make it three, the long distance and um, the dimension of the short parallel lines which is 2.6 so once let's make it driven once we made the dimension now we can start building our honeycomb so let's select our pattern again go tools sketch tools linear pattern so what I'm going to do is that create a pattern parallel to the horizontal line not this direction so I'm gonna say it is 30 degree and create only one and um, since you see the distance between two horizontal line is 2.6 I want to make it round so I want to space the pattern by 0.4 so let's do 3 here so 2.6 plus 0.4 3 so if I do that you see I cre I've created a pattern parallel to the line and what it means is the distance between these two lines is 0.4 and we would like to keep that fixed it's up to you you can choose any other variable than 0.4 so once I have two pattern, now I'm gonna use this, this two to create another pattern. Go to tools, sketch tools, linear pattern. Now what I'm going to do is that on X axis, I'm gonna keep it as one. On Y axis, I'm gonna keep, make it two. And again, what is the distance between this line to that line, 2.6? And what is the gap we are making 0.4? So again, it will be 2.6, 0.4, which will be 3 inch. So once we do 3, you see it creates another pattern in Y axis. That's all we need to create our base pattern. So we have 4. Now we are ready to make our honeycomb. So now I'm going to select um, this 4. Right? Um, so again go to pattern tools sketch tools linear pattern now see we have double image now so if we previously made a sketch by three inch how many times we're gonna do this time in y direction let's start with y if i make two or three we did Three gap now we're gonna do six because there's two of those so let's do six and now on x-axis previously we did a 30 degree angle and that's why we did three so if we do again do 30 degree then we should have is the gap right but we're gonna make it in x direction not at 30 degree angle so what we have to do is that six cost 30 we just need to have the projection 6 cost 30 gives me 5.2 so that's what would be our dimension here and you can scale up your dimension um, as you want so I said 5.2 and you see it's creating pattern for me um, let's do 4 or 5 and um, on this direction let's do four five now you see it has created the honeycomb pattern for me so all I have to do is that accept 
and you can change the number as many you want. And um, yeah, it is asking for to avoid the relation. I say yes. So it will create the honeycomb pattern for me. So once I have created my honeycomb structure, now I have to um, do extrude. If I do extrude, it will extrude only this shape. So to make the honeycomb, I need to create another rectangle um, that I'm making here. Now I'm going to use that to extrude. So I'm going to go to feature, pause extrude. It is creating a pattern, which is again the polygon. So what I have to do is that um, go to select contour and from there I have to select the contour that I want which is the middle of the uh, shape this shape now uh, I can do one inch and um, all I have to do is yes and it should create my honeycomb so see it has created my honeycomb 